Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pankaj and today we have Monica with us. She is the president of the PDC, that is the Professional Development Club at University of Ottawa. So she is at the topmost position uh, right now. Uh, so hi Monica, if you could please introduce yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Hello everyone, my name is Monica Guadani and I am currently doing my masters at University of Ottawa. And because this uh, video is specifically dedicated to professional development club, so I would like to start with that only. So uh, currently I'm the president of the club and what this club is, I'll just take this moment to introduce uh, this to you all. So professional development club is the graduate club which is there at the University of Ottawa. So this is a club led by the students and for the students. So we have uh, our professor uh, Peyton, who is the uh, vice dean at the Faculty of Engineering, and he is currently the mentor of the club. So this is a little bit brief about the club. Yeah, thank you so much, Monica. And uh, moving ahead, mm -hmm. uh, so the students would like to know your complete journey. Like as an international student, being the president at PDC is is quite a big thing. Uh, so how? As, uh, how as an international student you came here you became a part so I just wanted to know and students wanted to know yeah. what is your complete journey okay. after landing to Canada to okay. be a president at PVC okay. okay so I started my master's last year in fall so in our orientation we were introduced to the club so there we had this presentation explaining what the club is so the club was uh, formed like two years back only and now we have around 800 followers on the LinkedIn and okay. 800 graduate students with whom we are you know, connected as well as from filthy alumni. Oh, wow. So um, I joined the club as event manager and then gradually I worked with the club and now for this time I was elected as uh, the president. Uh, so my entire journey, journey was really, really good. I will talk about the motivation behind yeah. you know, joining the club. What are the benefits? What I'm getting with this? So this is completely a volunteer thing that you do. So I have always been this, uh, like I want to do something extra. Yeah. Study is something that you do at the university, but what else? I yes. just don't want to restrict myself to the assignments and everything. I want to involve with the professors at the faculty, with the alumni, with the industry partners. So this club is the platform for yeah. me for all those things. So because I like to do extracurricular activities as well, I like to be involved in other activities. So. Um, why this club is important, why I am doing this, why I am giving my important time to this. Yes. The reason is the references, the networking, the relation with the industry partners, the relation with the students. I am getting a lot of things with this club, you know. Okay. I got my internship because of the wow. club. Okay. okay, because one of the alumni with whom I was working in the last term referred to me in some of the organization, yeah. I, I got my internship. Wow. The job that I'm doing at the international office right now at the university yeah. is also referred by one of the alumni who, uh, who is with me at the club only. So this is what you get. Yeah, yes. You are in touch with your... And in the Canadian market, it is very much important that you have good net networks. Yes. Yeah, Because you don't have experience in Canadian market, but they require to have something. So yeah. having references net is very, very much important, yeah. as you know, right? Yes. So this is what I'm achieving. So, wow. For students, this is one of the best things. She got her internship. She got so many references. She has so many contacts right now. She got her part-time work at University of Ottawa. Uh, what else do you want yeah. as an international student? Yeah. So these are the different benefits. Additionally, you have several other benefits. Like there are several different events wherein you can go, you can participate, uh, you get free goodies, uh, free food. What, these are the benefits that you have mentioned that was amazing. But what are the procedures or what are the steps that an international student has to follow in order to join PDC? Okay, so steps are pretty much simple. So there are a lot of uh, verticals in the club. For example, the YouTube team, the marketing team, um, the project management team, so many others. So you have to show your interest, like there is this volunteer form on the website that you have to fill mm -hmm. and you need to mention that which team you want to join. So this is pretty much simple and for the coming term, like in fall, we will be having the orientation session and the onboarding session for the new students in like 
first or second September or maybe the first or second week of the September that we'll be communi communicating on our channels. So okay. yeah, people will get to know. So you uh, you guys can also uh, follow the PDC in LinkedIn so that you get more information about the upcoming events on how to go ahead and how to apply as well. So apart from this, Monica, how much time an, a student has to spend if he is a part of, if he or she becomes a part of PDC? Uh, not much okay. because in a team there will be many volunteers. Okay. So the work gets divided. So nobody gets burdened with the work. So it okay. could be like two or three hours that you will give, give him in a week. So okay. not much. Yeah. Okay. So you have told us about everything. And last but not the least, as a president, what would you like uh, in your volunteers, like in the new incoming students? So if they join PDC, what would you like them uh, uh, like to have in them so that they be a successful part of PDC and they can future uh, be a part of, yeah. like be a president of PDC. So yeah. your advice and suggestions on the uh, upcoming students yeah. as a president. So. Yeah. So the thing is, the work that you do is completely volunteer. You don't get paid for it. So you need to have that dedication uh, in yourself that, yeah. yeah, I want to do this. And why we are doing this for ourselves and for the coming students as well. Because I am an international student and I know what all struggles we do. And if I can do something for all of the students, like if I can get most of the project opportunities for the international students, they don't have to work outside, yeah. like at the Walmart or at the Rexall or anywhere. Because that's pretty tiring and yes. we are just wasting our talents but yeah. we have opportunities in the university then why would anybody work outside yes. that is what the club is doing yeah. like we are trying to get new opportunities every day so that our students get even if those opportunities are not paid but you are getting experience in the Canadian market yes. so that is what the club doing yeah. and I want people to have this in their mind that yeah they are doing this for them, themselves because yeah. they're you know making networks every day they yeah. are getting in touch with a lot of people outside yeah. and also they are getting these opportunities for themselves as well as for other students as yes. well so they should have this thing in themselves yeah so yes students so uh, the thing is you need to have your dedication uh, since uh, you have already come to Canada from your home country, uh, you must be dedicated in your work, you must be dedicated in volunteering. As Monica already said, there are several different benefits you get uh, to work uh, using the work study navigator that you apply, you directly get a reference and you can work as a part-time student uh, in uh, University of Ottawa itself. This is apart from TA, RA and other uh, character positions. This is the work study uh, navigator positions that I'm speaking about. Mm -hmm. So she got one. I had applied for 100 plus work study navigator positions. I didn't get into any of them, but she got into one. This is just because of the PDC, just because of the reference yeah. that she had uh, and because of her capability, of course, that she has become the president of PDC right now. Uh, also, the next benefit is she got the internship as well because of one of her reference wherein uh, her uh, profile was selected and she had to give interview then yeah. and after that she got selected. But basically her steps was reduced just because she was a part of PDC. Congratulations Monica for being the president at Thank PDC uh, and I hope uh, this video was really helpful to all of you. Please do join PDC uh, if you have that dedication to volunteer and give some amount of time and gain more and more references. Uh, and that's it uh, from this video. I hope uh, you like this video. I will definitely uh, put uh, Monica's uh, LinkedIn profile in the description of the video. Uh, so you can directly contact her in case in, if there is any queries. But again, uh, please do mention that in the comment section so that it's visible to everyone and everyone can use those comments in order to uh, find the solution for their questions. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this video was really helpful. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up button. Please do share my channel and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Have a good one.